Our first historical cathedral worth a visit is right across, and just 200 meters away. This Neo-Byzantine-style cross stone basilica is not only one of the symbols of Sophia, but is also one of the 50 largest Christian church buildings in the world and third largest Orthodox cathedral located in Southeast Europe with a capacity of 10,000. The majestic structure towers 148 feet at its gold-plated dome and at its highest point of 152 feet with its cross. The temple bell tower holds 12 bells and that weighs total of 23 tons. The bell can be heard within a nearly 10 mile radius. So this is another landmark here in Sofia is St. Alexander Nishki Parish Cathedral. It's built by the Bulgarians to commemorate soldiers from many nationalities uh, who fought between 1877 to 1878 in the liberation of Bulgaria from the Ottoman Empire. And the reason it, there's a lot of lineup is because today is Easter Sunday. The cathedral's construction began in 1882 but was not completed until 1912 and finally sanctified in 1924. It's named after the 13th century Russian prince Saint Alexander Nevsky, the personal patron saint of the Emperor Alexander II of Russia, who ruled the country during the Liberation War of Bulgaria. The church was built to honor those who sacrificed their lives during the Russian-Turkish War of 1877-1878, which liberated Bulgaria from the Ottoman Empire. Sadly, it was heavily damaged in World War II when American and British planes bombed Sofia. The cathedral occupied an area of 3,200 square meters. Rare and expensive material used to furnish the interior of the cathedral, including the marble come from Munich, the metal was sourced from Berlin and manufactured in Vienna, and the mosaic journey all the way from Venice. Next to the cathedral is the oldest church in Sofia and dating back to the 4th century. Outside of the church is a monument commemorating the hundreds of thousands of Bulgarian soldiers who died in the war defending their homeland. The monument was designed by architect Nikola Nokov and was opened on September 22, 1981, the 1300th anniversary of the establishment of the Bulgarian state. The tomb of the unknown soldier featured an eternal flame and guarded by the sculpture of a lion, the national symbol of Bulgaria. The St. Sophia Church was originally dedicated to the wisdom of God. It is believed that the city of Sophia was named of this church. The original structure was erected on top of the hill near the ancient city of Serdeka in 343, and over the next few centuries, several other churches were constructed and only to be destroyed by the invading forces such as the Goths and the Huns. The present basilica is believed to be the fifth structure to be constructed on the site and was built during the reign of Byzantine Emperor Justinian I in the middle of the 6th century, between 527 to 565 AD, with numerous tombs and remains of several smaller and earlier churches in its foundation, also including a Roman theater existed in the 2nd century. During the Second Bulgarian Empire, the status was upgraded to the Metropolitan Church. During the 16th century Ottoman rule, the church was converted into a mosque. The original 12th century fresco was destroyed and the minaret was added. In the 19th century, two earthquakes destroyed one of the minarets and the mosque was abandoned. Restoration work began after 1900, and today, the St. Sophia is one of the most valuable pieces of early Christian architecture in the southeastern Europe. 